So today we're going to look at crimping lugs and splices. So if you look at this picture, first of all, calibration dates out should be changed, which will happen shortly. But if I zoom in, remember I told you to look at the bottom of each terminal ring and it will give you the wire gauge. So if you look, zoom in, it's amp 22 to 18, right stamped on the bottom. So you can tell uh, the wire range without looking it up through the specs. Looking at some of the uh, butt splices, um, uninsulated ring terminals, the different types, Panduit, Amphenol, different types of crimpers. So the Serta Lock, which is amp, for the lugs is uh, red, yellow, and blue. And then Certilock has another jaw that you can put into those crimpers for the uninsulated. So if you look, the red tape denotes the ones that are uninsulated. We only have one set of those. So looking at the ring terminal, we can put it in with the ring going in first. Looking, we want to see that the back of the ring terminal is flush with the face of the die. So it goes right in. We don't want anything sticking out of the, the die. At that point, it is good to crimp. If the ring terminal comes out the other side. If I pull the lock out of the way, um, you can see it's kind of upside down, but it would stop my wire from going through so that it uh, gives me the correct length of wire. All of them are ratcheting type. So all you have to do is place your wire in, make sure it uh, is against the guard, and then cycle through the crimp. Cycle it through, release. You should check the back and the front to make sure you can see the wire. So we can see the wire and I can see, I cut it off so you can look at the back of it and see that it formed the correct shape. So it should be nicely around the the wire insulation, I don't want it on the wire. I want it on the insulation to give you strain relief. So it should, uh, all of them should make that uh, formation at the end. The thin metal goes around the insulation and the plastic on the outside. The butt splice, to uh, crimp the butt splice, what we have to do is line it up correctly. The guard gets pushed out of the way, and I'm going to slide the butt splice in all the way until the metal is at the edge of the die. The plastic is going to stick out, but I want the metal at the edge of the die. So if I zoom in, I can see I have the metal just at the edge of the die and the plastic is sticking out a bit. So that thin metal is where it's going to form around the uh, insulation and the barrel is on the inside which is going to crimp on the wire. So I strip my wire, place it into the crimper, Make sure it's twisted together so it doesn't fray. Place it inside and go ahead and cycle the crimpers. Gives the strain relief on the back and it crimps in the front on the, on the barrel. Now I have to flip the butt splice around and do that on the opposite side Again, lining up the outside edge 
of the uncrimped one with the outside edge of the the die of the metal so I can place it in the back side line it up again so that the crimp tool sometimes you can click it one click just to give you a little bit of friction to hold it while you line it up so I got it set up the metals at the edge plastic sticking out and what I'm gonna do is put my wire strip it and put my wire in and then cycle it through and crimping it so now I've joined two pieces of wire together and I'm good butt splice complete check to make sure the formation of the strain relief and two um, barrels crimped in the middle give it a little tug test make sure it stays in there together and you can move on to the next step again as you uh, crimp the crimpers the guard will actually move out of the way so that the butt splice will fit through the guard and you can crimp it properly If I try to take a Panduit, a ring terminal, and place it into the, the wrong crimpers, what's gonna happen is the outside insulation is way bigger than the amp, so there's more material to try to crimp, and it's gonna deform the plastic. First of all, the thing you'll notice is the crimpers are extremely hard to, um, to crimp. So I can release it, pull it out, and then again, I'm gonna try and crimp it properly, but it's not gonna work. So I can't really have a spot to line it up because there's no metal. So start to crimp it and it pops out. Again, give it a good squeeze and it's very hard to squeeze it more than the other ones. So you notice there's just the barrel in there. So I squeeze, it's hard to do this one-handed and finally get it to release and it's kind of stuck in the dies so it kind of squishes the plastic out of the dies and kind of makes a mess of them doesn't really form it correctly uh, like the amphenol would so again using the correct ones so those are panduit it says panduit right on them so I need to get panduit crimpers or equivalent. The ones we have are the Certilock, which are made by Amphenol or TE Electronics. Different ones, so you notice Amphenol makes uninsulated crimps as well. Same thing on the back is the wire gauge size stamped in the ring. To, ring, uh, to crimp them, you place them in the crimper. This time it only has one die that pierces the when it pierces the front, um, there's a line. You can see a line that splits down the middle. And I want to put the die into that line and crimp it on that side. Same idea, strip your wire, get the correct crimpers. So you can see there's kind of uh, two little um, things that gonna pierce the bottom of the die. So you can place it in there Again, it's got the, the guard. It takes a little bit to get it in the right spot. Again, you want the bottom to come up and into the crimp barrel. Now you can see the barrel because there's no insulation on it. So those two little intrusions are gonna come up and pierce into the, the barrel to crimp onto your wire. I believe if you look at the top of the die, it gives you some more information on the this the crimping specs of the dies along the top of the individual dies. Again, moving on to some splices. We did the butt splice. So now Raychem makes a tool to do their environmental sealed splices. So it's a two stage a barrel and then a sealant tube over top so this one's blue 
So this is one we did in the class to calculate the numbers. So place it into the correct spot. This was the blue. It holds it there for you. Then uh, place your wire inside and just cycle the crimpers through. So once you've crimped one side, now you can release the crimpers, flip it over. There's a special little holder on the back side that holds your wire and the barrel. So flip it over, there's the, the holder. It allows your barrel to fit and your wire. So place it back in the crimpers. You may have to crimp the crimpers just slightly to hold it in place. It's, uh, again, tricky with one hand. <laughs> so the holder allows you to hold it. The wire goes through, slide down, and then you can cycle your crimpers. Position it correctly. Try and get it nice and neat. Line them up so they're both at the same spot. Strip your wire and place the wire in the... Oh, don't forget the end. you got to put the... Sealant end over top before you crimp the next side or you're going to do it again. So slip it over, place it into the barrel, and cycle your crimpers through again and finish your crimp. Now you have your butt splice or rake M splice environmental sealed. And your next step is to seal with the heat gun and seal it off so again you can see a little bit of the wire two spots that it's crimped so we're going to place the the sleeve over top and then we're going to uh, heat it up center it get your heat gun now it's going to be hard with, uh, without the reflector. I stole the reflector um, for the shop ones. So heat her up. You can watch it uh, melt the sealant on the ends. Try and keep it centered as you're heating it. And if you don't have a reflector, what you can do is rotate it around. Um, it should uh, seal. You should see the... The ends kind of squish out and you know that it's shrunk down enough. So pretty much when it gets flat and it's good. And we're done. Looking at the crimp. So we can see all the correct and incorrect crimps. All done at the end.